Thank you. Hello again. Yes, fairly disappointing across the region today compared to the last few days where it's been predominantly dry, warm and sunny. A lot of low cloud out towards the North Sea and not feeling particularly cold, but those temperatures well below what we've been experiencing over the last few days. So it's not as warm over the next few days. Limited amounts of sunshine and showers or longer spells of rain never too far away. This weather front that brought a really soggy start for the first half of the day will generally hang around over the next few days with low pressure staying to the southwest of the UK. So overnight tonight, still some showers initially and then actually a drier period, still with quite a lot of cloud around, some mist and murk over the hills and potentially some low cloud moving in off the North Sea to the North Yorkshire coastline. But as we head through into the second half of the night, we'll see those showers start to re-emerge from the south, one or two of which could be on the heavy side by dawn and temperatures in double figures. So another mild night to come as we head into Wednesday, 5.02 and 8.56 are your sun times as we head into tomorrow. So tomorrow, again, quite a cloudy start, a damp start. There'll be showery outbreaks of rain, some of which will be heavy, basically lingering around on and off for much of the day. If we see any brighter, sunnier spells in the south, that will spark off one or two heavy showers and temperatures just above the average for the time of year with a light breeze, but coming off the North Sea. So low cloud is always a risk at times at the coastline over the next few days. That front's still lingering on Thursday, but you can see some lovely sunny spells to the south. So if we get those, it will feel quite nice in the sunshine but generally speaking that front lingers towards the end of the week and then hopefully through the weekend high pressure is likely to build but still with the risk of showers and still on the Mars side.